how to model transformer in this video i will discuss how to model this transformer let's it's better to take a fresh transformer so here as you can see this is two winding transformer let's take this transformer here here is the transformer id you can give any name up to 25 characters as per the ic standard or nc standard let's move to the main rating parameter page here primary kv suppose this is 11 kv and here is the secondary side was 0.433 and here the transformer rating you can toggle here either kva va kva or mba you can toggle let's select 2 mba transformer and you can see it has calculated the full load current 105 ampere in the primary side in secondary side 2667 ampere is the rated current that's fine here no need to define any other things so this is the rating so primary voltage secondary voltage and transformer rating in mba or kva next move forward to the impedance page impedance page you have to provide the impedance values positive and zero sequence impedance of the transformer if you have if you have the data you can put this uh, percentage impedance of the transformer and also the x by r ratio you can put and it will calculate the percentage x percentage r it will calculate based on that and also the zero sequence impedance x by r ratio if you have if you don't have then you can use the etf typical data for z and x by r ratio so here for 2 mba transformer the percentage impedance is 6.25 percent and x by r ratio is 6 so here that's all if you want to give the tolerance impedance tolerance you can define here suppose 10 percent plus minus 10 percent tolerance you are providing here so you need to specify here the z tolerance plus minus 10 percent or plus minus 5 percent whatever and okay that's done next move to the next tab here tab here generally you will see the tab is in the primary side transformer prim primary side why there are some technical reasons why the tapping is provided in the high voltage side not in the low voltage side the main technical reason is that in the high voltage side you can see go back to the rating page in the high voltage side the full load current is only 105 ampere whereas in the low voltage side the current is too much here 2667 ampere so that's what that's the one of the uh, most most important technical reason why the tap is applied in the primary side but also you uh, you will see in the industrial application sometimes in the secondary side tapping is provided let's say here in the primary side so just increase here so 2.5 2.5 percent primary tap and this is 5 percent tap so up to 5 percent that is plus minus 5 percent tap so it has it has five positions this is the nominal tap this is plus 2.5 percent tap this is plus 5 percent tap and accordingly etf will calculate the kb and per unit turns ratio so if you increase the tap that means the low voltage side bus voltage bus voltage will decrease that bus voltage profile will decrease so during the load flow study run uh, if you find the bus voltage 
is under voltage then what you can do you can you need to increase the bus voltage improve the bus voltage that means you need to decrease this tap transformer nominal tap to minus 2.5 percent or minus 5 percent based on the required voltage profile so this is one of the uh, options available to regulate the connecting bus voltage percentage bus voltage and here this is for ltc this is for ltc on load tap changer so on load tap changer avr control on load tap changer is applicable for uh, for bigger size for larger rating transformers suppose for generator step of transformers or station transformers which is receiving power from grid so for larger rating transformers if you have in the industrial application in your project ltc then you need to you need to check this box and you need you need to apply this ltc otherwise uncheck this one so for this lv transformer if you have the tap only you need to provide the tap tapping here only this is the off circuit tap this is off circuit tap this is nominal tap and you can go to the positive side plus 2.5 percent plus 5 percent or go to the negative minus 2.5 percent and minus 5 percent next move forward to the grounding tab here here the vector groove you can change suppose this is now din 1 delta star transformer this is delta star transformer you can change it if it is star star transformer suppose in this case i will consider delta ta, delta star transformer but the vector angle i want to change suppose minus 30 that means dyn 11 vector group and din 11 din 11 distribution transformer most mostly industrial applications lv distribution transformers you will find this din, din 11 transformer delta star and star this, since this is low voltage side this is generally solidly grounded if it is medium voltage or high voltage sometimes you will find this register grounded so register resisting grounded register grounded uh, star you need to you need to define the value here current suppose it will limit up to 300 ampere ground fault current this resistance ngr neutral grounding register will really limit the current flow up to 300 amps so it will calculate the rating of the ngr which is 0.833 ohms in this case since this is distribution transformer lv distribution so the secondary side is solidly grounded and here also you can choose the earthing type suppose tns okay so these are the important parameters regarding transformer first of all in the rating phase primary side voltage secondary side voltage and transformer mva or kva rating next tab is the impedance percentage impedance and x by r ratio these two are the important parameters and also the percentage impedance tolerance if you have then the tap this is nominal tap if you want to provide tap here then plus side or minus side this is off circuit fixed tap position and this is the grounding so if you if you check this box symbol grounding element it will show delta star transformer so d11 d11 transformer so it will show this here the grounding delta star 